Uh, Prime Minister, in the last stages of the campaign, what have you picked up on the streets about the kind of issues that voters in Rochester Street are actually concerned about? Well, people do care about things like the local hospital. Very important we get that out of special measures and sort that out, which we will do as a government. But above all, what I see is a by-election that's about who's the right local candidate to take forward uh, the work of the government's long-term economic plan here in Rochester and Strood. And I think Kelly is head and shoulders above the rest. If she wins, the result will be about Rochester and Strood and economic development. If UKIP win, it'll simply be about them. Another sort of step towards the sort of disruption and instability they want to bring. And what's your message to people who might be thinking of voting for other parties? You're trying to reach out to them and say, hold on a minute, why don't you back us as a way of stopping UKIP? Well, my message is that it is a two-horse race. It's between UKIP and the Member of Parliament who turned coat and uh, Kelly, Lo Kelly Tolhurst, who works so hard, who lives locally, born and brought up here, who do a really good job for local people. That's the choice. It is a two-horse race. So I'd say to Labour voters or Liberal voters, people who voted for no party before, look at Kelly because she's the local candidate who can deliver uh, a strong economy here in Rochester and Strood. Finally, have you contemplated what defeat might mean for you and the party on November the 20th? When I'm in the middle of a campaign, I only think about winning, and uh, then we'll deal with the result after we've got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.